Now, you can say summary about Hartley oscillator very easily. The F frequency is, is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi. There is a 2 inductance. So, L equivalent into C. This is for the F value. And L equivalent, there is a 2 type. One is, we can call as a L1 plus L2. This is as usual. And if it is mutual inductance is present, so 2M. So, take usually this one. If M is not given, M is 0, then one they take L1 plus L2. This is all about the frequency. Then for the amplifier portion, always the formula is L1 plus M divided by L2 plus M. So, your gain should be greater than this. In this our case, gain is we are taking as a BJT. So, BJT whatever gain we have for that, we should be equal to this one. Usually, we have in the uh, gain in the BJT is known as beta. So, uh, that is nothing but current gain. So, we have to take as a current gain should be greater than L1 plus M divided by L2 plus M. Next, we will discuss about one problematic Hartley oscillator which consider L1 is equal to 750 micro Henry and L2 is 750 micro Henry. That means L1 is equal to L2 and mutual inductance is given 150 micro Henry and capacitor is 150 picofarad and beta value is given 50. Beta is nothing but here gain factor. Okay. Calculate frequency and check is it oscillation condition satisfies or not. So, first we can go with the solution part. As usual, we know that F is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi. So, root uh, the formula from here L equivalent into C. So, in this condition L equivalent is nothing but the M is given. Okay. So, you can take that L1 plus L2 plus 2M. So, it is nothing but 750 twice uh, you can take like this only 750 micro plus 750 micro plus uh, 150 into 2 is nothing but 300 micro okay so when you take these values so you will get 1800 micro henry this is the l equivalent value what you obtain from this you can calculate the value so f is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root l equivalent is 1800 micro into C is nothing but 150 picofarad. So, 150 into 10 to the power of minus 12. So, calculate this one. You will get F value is something nearly 306.25 kilohertz. Okay. So, the first operation what we are completed. Calculate frequency we are done. It is nothing but 306.25 kilohertz. Now, we are moving for the second one. Check is the oscillation condition satisfies. So, here uh, we know the formula is A is nothing but gain. So, I will take directly beta. So, beta is greater than L1 plus M divided by L2 plus M. So, here we know that beta is given as a 50. So, take 50 greater than L1 means we have 750 okay micro plus 150 micro divided by same answer. Yes or no? Because L2 uh, is also same. So, 750 micro plus 150. So, both are same means you will get 1. So, we will get as a 50 greater than 1. So, yeah, uh, the 50 is greater than 1. So, the we can say that the condition is satisfied. So, our summary is condition satisfies. Yes. Okay. So, this is how the this problem can be solved. Another one similar problem in Hartley. In Hartley oscillator, L1 is 10 micro Henry and L2 is 10 micro Henry. That means L1, L2 equal and here M value is not given. Find the value of C, that means capacitance, required for an oscillating frequency of 150 kilohertz. We know the formula is, when you are doing solution, F is equal to 1 divided by this formula. So, 2 pi into root L equivalent and C. So, from this L equivalent is nothing but 10 plus 10, 20 micro. The thing is, we have to find C. So, F value, we know that. If you simplify this one, we will get as a, I will take like F square because root I want to remove it. So, is equal to 1 divided by 2 square become 4 then this pi square L equivalent into C. I hope you are getting this. I required here C. So, C is equal to uh, take like this 1 divided by 4 pi square F square L equivalent. So, from this we know that L equivalent we know the values. L1 plus L2 is nothing but 10 plus 10. So, we can take C value is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi square. F square is nothing but 
150 into 10 to the power of 3 whole square into L equivalent is nothing but 10 micro plus 10 micro. Okay? Simplify this one and find out capacitor value. You are getting C is something like 56.28 nano per. Just you have to uh, simplify or uh, do the other stuff for the C value in the same equation and find out. In this case, they are not asking anything about the gain part. So leave it only do the form. Next, we will discuss about Kalpitz oscillator. I am not going much deep on Kalpitz oscillator. If you understand what is Hartley oscillator, it is similar portion in the Kalpitz. It is also LC network. The thing only changes here. In the Hartley oscillator, we are using two inductor and one capacitor. But see here, uh, we are using in the Kalpit, the tank circuit, we have two capacitor and one inductor. So only the changes in the this tank circuit or feedback network and all the other portion whatever we have in the Hartley it remains same. So whatever in the uh, we discussed in the amplifier portion operation it remains exactly same in the culprits also. The only changes we are doing instead of two inductor we are using two capacitors. So what happens it also has 180 degree phase shift and this is also 180 degree phase shift. So no issue of the phase shift uh, sustainability. Then we are moving with the, uh, the portion of frequency part. And I am skipping operation because it is nearest or exactly same as a Hartley oscillator. Here the capacitor, two capacitor because one is uh, the charging and uh, discharging through the L value and another capacitor we are using to convert from the undamped oscillation to the damped oscillation. For those reasons, we are using two capacitor in this case. Just a vice versa operation of the, the Hartley oscillator. So I will skip operations. I will directly go to the frequency. So frequency formula, we know that 1 divided by 2 pi root LC for if LC network. In our case here, we have C is 2. So we can call as a 1 divided by 2 pi root L into C equivalent. So here, the one stuff you have to remember that what is the C equivalent? for the series of C. So series of capacitance, it is not like C1 plus C2. So you have to remember that C equivalent is nothing but it's like C1 into C2 divided by C1 plus C2. So this is the total formula for the frequency portion. What is the portion for the amplification? So in the previous case, we are done. The amplification factor is nothing but uh, L1 by L2. Remember that same way here, we can take amplification should be greater than C2 by C1. So previously we discussed L1 by L2, it is opposite one here, C2 by C1. So the all this stuff are same. Only thing we have to remember that there is a instead of one inductance, two capacitance. So instead of L equivalent, we are talking about C equivalent and C equivalent formula is this. And A we have taken as a something like previous A is nothing but greater than L1 by L2. Here it is opposite C2 by C1. Okay, not C1 by C2, C2 by C1. This is the gain. Also we can call it as a beta in some term HFE also. This is a H parameter. Uh, if you are studied about this, well and good. Otherwise take beta only. Okay, beta and HFE both are same. Because H parameter is not there in your syllabus. So go for the beta only. So uh, nothing but gain is nothing but should be greater than C2 by C1. <laughs> Let's discuss the problem on Kalpitz oscillator. So given in Kalpitz oscillator, C1 is 1 nanoparad, C2 is 99 nanoparad and inductance is 1.5 million and beta is given 110. Sometime in the uh, question they may give HFE is equal to 110. So take it as a beta. Don't worry about this. Then calculate the frequency of oscillator and check oscillator condition is it satisfies or not. So then first we will go with the frequency. So we know the formula of frequency is nothing but F is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root L into C equivalent. So in our case, first we have to find C equivalent. So C equivalent is nothing but the formula is C1 into C2, C1 plus C2. So we have 1 nanoparad and 99 nanoparad. So 1 into 10 to the power of minus 9. Then again it multiply with the 99 into 10 to the power of minus 9. So adding with the these two term 1 into 10 to the power of minus 9 plus 99 into 10 to the power of minus 9. So you will get the C equivalent. Try to do it yourself. So you will get the answer is 0.99 nanoparad. So this is your C equivalent. 
apply it to the f value so it's nothing but 1 divided by 2 pi root of l is given as a 1.5 into milli means 10 to the power of minus 3 and multiply with the 0.99 into 10 to the power of minus 9 so simplify this one you will get the frequency value 130.6 k this is the f value so the first case you are completed second case you are going with the check whether condition satisfy or not the condition is say that beta should be greater than c2 by c1 so in our case beta is given 110 should be greater than c2 means 99 nanoparad divided by 1 nanoparad so nano nano get cancelled so we will get 99 so 110 is greater than 99 so we can say that the condition is satisfied one more problem we will discuss in Kalpitz oscillator if c1 c2 is equal to c that means both are equal and l is equal to 100 micro the frequency of oscillator is 500 kilohertz okay so determine what is the value of c so uh, in this case we know the uh, portion of the frequency and inductor we have to find capacitor so formula remains same f is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root l into c equivalent so in this case first we have to find what is c equivalent then we can according to that we can go with the other value so uh, here root is there first remove root so you will get as a it become f square into 1 divided by 2 become 4 pi square and l into c equivalent so now c equivalent is equal to you will get as a 1 divided by 4 pi square so l into f square okay if you simplify this one you will get 1 divided by 4 pi square l value is 100 micro and you have to go with the f value 500 k square okay so simplify this one you will get c equivalent value so you are getting c equivalent is 1.01 32 into 10 to the power of minus 9 parrot okay it's nothing but nano parrot so this is what c equivalent we got but here we have to find c value so we know the formula of c equivalent is equal to c1 into c2 divided by c1 plus c so c1 is equal to c2 is given in the problem so we can take as a c here so c into c this become c square and this is c1 c2 both are c so c plus c become 2c so here square and 1c we can cancel out so we are getting c equivalent is nothing but c by 2 so i required c value so c is equal to 2 into c equivalent so uh, multiply this uh, answer so you will get the c value the final answer you are getting as 2.026 nano parity this is the the particular c value and it is nothing but c1 is equal to c